on my unbreakable beauties welcome to yet another slay with me video i am starting off by showing you that this lace front wig on the inside has three combs attached to it two on the side and one in the back which i feel is good to have in wigs because it keeps the wig a little bit more secured so before i apply this wig i'm going to go in with the new deluxe wig cap that is invisible and expendable in which i got from my local beauty supply store that costs only about $1.99 I usually like using a wig cap under the wig so it can pretty much protect my protective style which is the braids I have in right now. When I braided my hair I applied some scalp oil and that's why you can see the oil seeping through the cap. Go ahead and apply the wig. Before I secure the wig I'm positioning it so I can determine exactly where I want it to be first. Then I am putting the front and the back ponytail so I don't have that extra hair in the way when I'm cutting off the lace and securing these edges like you're supposed to secure your bag, boo. Now that I have the wig position where I want it to be, I'm going to take this ColourPop Baby Blue Eyeliner and tracing the outline of my head where I want to apply my adhesive. I took the wig completely off because I felt that I still had some of the lace in the back and I didn't like that rough feeling on my neck, especially if I would have secured this wig on my head. So yeah, after that was cut off, I took a dry cotton pad to sort of take off some of that neon blue because I didn't want it to show even though I know the glue will be covering it. Now let's go ahead and apply this bad baby by applying this bold hold adhesive first in the middle of my head. And to evenly distribute the glue, I'm taking the comb side of this comb and edge brush to do so. So before I finish applying this adhesive to the entire perimeter of my head, I'm going to make sure that the adhesive is a little clear, also known as a little bit more sticky. To make the process a little bit faster, I'm taking my Con Air Blow Dryer on Cool. Okay, so those same combs that I was mentioning earlier, I'm just using the back comb for security. And now I'm applying the front part of the wig until the semi-dried adhesive first. Being that the adhesive was still a little white looking, I took the that same comb and edge brush to blend it out. Taking that Con Air blow dryer on cool to do the same thing so it can pretty much melt that wig and onto my onto my head or edges, whatever. And as you guys can see, this thing ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. For the rest of this application, I'm just repeating the same steps. To really press that adhesive into the cap, I'm taking the end of this rat tail comb to do so as you all looking at right now. The excessive lace, I'm going to take this eyebrow shaver because I've been seeing it on a few like YouTubers page stating that this method is better than the scissors and honestly guys, I hated it. It took forever to do. Ugh, yeah, it's, it's, that's not my method. I, I really hated it. Went the old-fashioned way and got my shears and finished cutting it, cutting it like that. After I cut all that I needed to cut off, I had to go back in with some adhesive glue and glue down the side of my hair. The reason being is because I took some leave-in conditioner spray to wet the front so I can pluck my hair a little more. Why I thought that was a smart idea, I don't know. Part pretty much just repeats itself, you guys. It's the same thing I did in the beginning, pretty much. Now I got my edges to look a little more natural. I'm going to place this bandana over my edges so it can hold them down for a little bit. While the bandana is on, I'm going in with that leave-in conditioner since I didn't have a spray bottle 
just so it can wet my hair just a little. That's done or whatever. It's time to style it. But first, let's do these edges. People use mousse, but I use my got to be gel in a black bottle. I just felt like it was a better hold. Last few clips, I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to style this hair. I have an idea on how I want to style it. I'm going to go ahead and put the hair in a ponytail, then I'm going to put that bandana back on my edges. That way it could just lay these edges down for about 10 minutes, I would say. That 10 minutes has gone by, it's time to really style this hair. And my edges look pretty decent, so we're going to go ahead and with some hot combs. And I got these like on the stove hot combs from Amazon. They were about like $25. But the reason why I wanted to get the hot combs to straighten my edges a little bit more, because I wanted the edges to look more straight instead of that curly look. And if you guys don't want to like that that's totally fine you could do it the way you want but me i preferred it that way i did decide to do a half up and down look with this wig to make the edges look a lot more smoother i'm going in with this wax stick that i purchased on amazon as well and this was i will say uh, probably about 13 dollars at the max I'm sure y'all can clearly see that the rest of this video is pretty much self-explanatory. You can really see what I'm doing. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you all really, really enjoy. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm telling y'all I'm trying to come through with some videos, trying to come through with some better content, some clear content. I'm on the whole another wave anyways if you guys really like this video please give it a thumbs up please don't forget to leave your comments down below let me know if you really really like this hairstyle on me maybe i can do more like this but yeah give this video a thumbs up i love you guys and until next time i guess i will see you all later